guys learning with rich here in this video after learning how to modify the ies data of the lighting fixtures so in this exercise we are going to add switches for the lighting switches and the receptacles in our project so the procedure for placing switches and receptacles is the same as for placing any hosted components in Revit 2021. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to place uh, lighting switches. Okay, so as you can see, we are on level two lighting plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to uh, computer lab. Okay, so we are going to put some lighting switches here. So as you can see, we already have some receptacles here that is wall hosted and then we also have this uh, wall occupancy sensor uh, lighting device that is also wall hosted so that is actually what we are going to place so how do we place these switches okay so to do that so the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to insert another one of this type okay you can actually select this one and then right click and then you can select create similar okay or if you want to know where to get this uh, lighting switch so you just need to go to the systems tab and then you need to go to the lighting device so you just select lighting and then you check the properties and then this is what we are going to insert this wall occupancy sensor regular voltage passive infrared 277 volts okay so i'm going to select this one and then before you place it so as you can see there's an options here so there's a placement panel wherein you can place that on vertical face you can place it on face and then you can place it on the work plane so since we're going to place it on the wall so i'm going to make sure that place on vertical face is selected okay so it places the element on a vertical face of a host element such as wall all right so let us now place it so let's say i'm going to uh, place it here so i'm going to place one here okay and then as you can see if you move away your pointer from the wall the, your pointer says it's cannot okay so you cannot place a lighting device if your mouse is away on your vertical face on a wall so that's why if you hover your pointer to a wall it will now appear so let's say i'm gonna place another one here and click and then you go okay so select modify now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to select one of the switch and then i will select here the selection box so it will create a separate 3D of that. So I will select modify, right click, uh, zoom to fit. All right. So there is actually our lighting switch that is hosted to our uh, wall. Right. So what you can do is you can still select that if you want. You can change the elevation or the height of that. You can change the schedule level. You can put some um, identifiers or properties on the instance parameters here okay so i'm going to select the floor plan i'm going to select the tile views so i can see both the floor plan and then the 3d view now in this 3d view i'm gonna change the discipline to architectural Let's change that one so we can see the architectural model so if you click the section box you'll be able to highlight it here as well so that's why if you make this view activated so you can actually adjust the section box in the floor plan view right so you can also adjust it here and there you go okay right okay now the next thing that we are going to do is uh, we are going to place some junction boxes okay so these are the junction boxes so let me just select modify to deselect any element so this is actually a junction box 
Oh, sorry, not that one. So this is a duplex receptacle. Do we have a junction box here? No, I don't think we have one. But we are, that is what we are going to insert. Okay, so I'm going to select the systems tab. And then your junction box is on the device that is an electrical fixture. So I'm going to select electrical fixture. And then I'm going to select here load family. Let me just check first if we have a junction box here. So we don't have a junction box here. So I'm going to load one. So I'm going to select load family. And then I'm going to the English electrical MEP electric power distribution. Okay, so I'm going to select that distribution. And then I'm going to look for uh plain junction box do we have other junction box okay so i'll just select this one m junction boxes no load so okay so i will be selecting that and then select open okay so here i'm going to select m junction boxes no load 100 square okay so i'm going to select that one all right, and then we are now going to place that. So let's say I'm going to place it somewhere here. So this is a non-hosted family. So it's non-hosted. There is no option here like place on vertical face or uh, place on face or place on a reference plane. Okay, so this family is non-hosted. So I can just place it here and then I can just select your OK. Since this is a non-hosted family, if I select this one, let me check that in the 3D view. By default, it will be placed at the uh, zero elevation or zero offset from the host. So if I'm going to select this one, you check the properties here. As you can see, it's zero. Okay, because it's a non-hosted family. So I'm just going to change the elevation here. So instead of zero, let's say I'm going to type eight for eight feet and then enter. Okay, and then it's now there. Okay, so that's our uh, junction box. Okay, so I'm going to select that one and then let us just change the mark here. So you can change the mark. So let's say I will call this junction box or JB. Let's say this is my first no load junction box. Okay, and then as you can see, you can also change here the number of poles. The voltage, if you go to the type properties, you can also change here the load classification. You can also change the apparent load, which is currently 0 volt amps. Okay, you can also change the dimension here and put some identification here. All right, so you can explore that. So I'll just select your OK. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to place a wall hosted receptacles. Okay, so wall hosted uh, receptacles. So what I'm going to do is I go to the project browser and then I'm going to open level 2 power plan. So I'll just double click that. Okay, which is this one. I'm going to maximize that view by selecting tab views or typing TW. So I select that one. Okay, and then I just select here modify. So as you can see here, our uh, duplex receptacles are already placed. So how can we place this? So I'm just going to close first the other views that I have open. So I'm going to click close inactive views. Okay, so I'm going to go to the uh, library 219 here. Okay, so this is our library 219 space. So this is the space uh, 219. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to check first the system browser. So there's the system browser. And here, so if you select systems here and then go to the unassigned, you click power, uh, electrical, and then expand the power, you will notice here that on our library 219, so there are other lighting fixtures that only, that is already assigned here on our space uh, 219. But on our space 219, there is no duplex receptacle. As you can see, there's no receptacles here. So you will notice later on, as we place a duplex receptacle, this um, uh, system browser will going to be updated. Okay, so by the way, if you want to edit the columns here, 
So you can select um, column settings and then you can check none first. And then after that, you can just expand, let's say, the general. And then you can just check here what are the columns that you want to appear. Okay, you can also go to electrical and then what are the columns that you want to appear like, for example, load, distribution system, and then the voltage. Of course, at, at the moment, there is no value yet. Okay, so let me just cancel this one. And then let us now place our uh, receptacle. Okay, so let's say I'm going to place a receptacle here. So where is that? So you go to the systems and then you go to the device. You go to the uh, electrical fixture and then you go to the properties. Click the type selector here. You can see now there the duplex receptacle. So I'm going to select standard. So you click that one. Again, we're going to place that on our wall. That's why make sure that place on vertical face is turned on. But don't worry, by default, place on vertical face is already activated. So let's say I'm just going to put one here to this wall, and then I'm going to put one here. Okay, and then I'll just select here modify. Again, just like your switches that we have placed earlier, if you click that, you can again change the elevation here or the offset or the schedule level, and then you can put some identification here. Okay, now you will notice if you select your uh, duplex receptacle or any lighting fixtures that is well hosted, if you click, there is this temporary dimension that will appear. You can actually click that one and then you can type the distance here. If you want to change the distance of your uh, receptacle from this wall, okay, or what you can do is once you click your duplex receptacle, you can see that blue node there. It says move witness line. You can click that and hold your left click. And then you can drag that. Let's say you can put it here or you can just align to the other receptacle. And then release your left click. And there you go. Then you can now see there your uh, temporary dimension. You can click that and then you can type a distance. So let's say, for example, I will type uh, 13 feet enter there you go okay so you can do that okay so if you select that you see it's 13 feet so you can drag the witness line so you can reposition it okay now the next thing that i'm gonna do is let's say um, i want to add to this wall here so Instead of going to the device here and then selecting electrical fixture, what you can do, since you already placed one, so you can select that, right-click, and then select Create Similar. You can do that. And then just place it. Okay, there you go. And then select Modify. And then let's say I'm going to copy this. So I select that. Copy. Make sure multiple is checked. So I'm going to pick a base point here. Pick. And then move the slider down. So let's say I want 12 feet distance. So I type 12. Enter. There you go. And then I'm going to move again my pointer below. And then I'm going to type 12. Enter. There you go. And then I select modify. And you can also place your duplex receptacles on a face. Okay. So let's try to do that. So let's put it on the uh, floor hosted receptacle. Let's put a floor hosted receptacle so again i'm going to select one of the duplex receptacle right click uh, create similar so this time around you can select place on face so you can select that one and then let's say i want to put that on the floor okay just approximate so i just placed one here i want to place one here and then I want to place one here. And then modify. There you go. So if you want to see that in the 3D view, just click one of the receptacle and then just select selection box. Click that one. Select modify. And then right click, zoom to fit. There you go. Oops, let's click that. And that's the receptacle. So I select uh, tile windows. So there's my section box. Make sure you select the section box here so that it will highlight on the floor plan. 
then you can just adjust that one there you go then you can also adjust here you can also adjust here then you can adjust go to the 3d and then you can move up there you go so those are the receptacles that we have placed right okay so there you go so now on our next exercise we are going to create lighting circuits and then we are going to show the wirings all right so that's it for this exercise thank you for watching have a nice day